Welcome to my messy closet. Today we are doing a closet clean out. This video is much needed for myself. I have a ton of crap that I don't wear. It is a mess. So we're gonna be going all through it. So let me just give you the rundown on my closet. This is my summer outfits that are crop top stuff that I don't really feel confident in, but I'm going to by summer because I am on my game. I am losing weight, I'm feeling good. We're gonna hang on to a lot of them because I do have hope that I'm going to feel confident wearing them at one point in my life, but there's some that I probably just won't ever wear just because I don't like the style of them. So we're gonna sort through those. That's all my crop top section. This, I share a closet with my fiance by the way. His side is that side, my side is this side. Okay, so right here we have my mounds of pants, leggings, skirts, shorts, everything. It's just a mess, as you can tell. Here we have all of my shirts, long sleeve, short sleeve, pretty much every shirt that I have besides my clothing rack over there. And up here we have dresses and sweatshirts. Now, I used to have this whole closet organized by color, by short sleeve and long sleeve, um, by sweatshirts and only dresses were in the front, but it got messy and I stopped caring about it as much, so this is what we're dealing with. And then, I have a clothing rack, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. I'm not really going to go through it, I'll probably just fold some stuff up and make it look more presentable. It has a lot of my shoes and stuff on it. But um, I know that most of those clothes I want to keep because a lot of those clothes are new and I've been planning on doing a big haul, but I just haven't gotten around to it. And also I'm losing weight, so I kind of want to wait a little bit longer just so when I try on all the clothes, like I actually feel good about the video and I'm not like being down on myself because I've been working hard. I've been drinking coffee and I've been eating healthy, literally. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. This coffee is not it. I already had my good coffee of the day and it has a lot of carbs and calories so I'm trying to drink healthier coffee. This has almond milk, coffee, stevia, and half and half. Not that any of you asked or even cared. Okay, so Let's dive into this closet clean out. First of all, I don't know why my fiance put my sweatshirt on his side. This is my sweatshirt and I just got it, it's new. So I'm gonna start off with my crop tops. This is a pair of pants that I've been trying to fit into. I'm going to hold on to them just because I am finally losing weight. I like actually am this time, but um, I'm going to hang on to these jeans in case I fit into them, but they do not need to be hung up. Keep, well duh, we gotta keep the YouTube one. See, I'm so iffy about this one because like, will I really ever wear it? Probably not. But would it be a good swimsuit cover up? Yeah. So I'm gonna keep it. This is my struggle. Okay, literally I'm not getting rid of any crop tops, okay? Because once I fit into them, then I can actually like try them on and see if I like them or not. But I just, I can't get rid of them yet, okay? Sorry. Then this is my scarf rack, which honestly, this is, a, is this a scarf? Yeah, okay. This is my scarf rack. I need a better setup. It looks pretty not great. But I do like most of the scarves in here. <laughs> Sorry, I had to adjust my lighting. Why didn't any of you tell me? I pretty much like all these scarves. The only one I would say is this one I probably won't wear. But I wore it and it has meaning behind it. So I'll just hang on to it. I'm really struggling with getting rid of stuff, but this scarf is cute. These are really cute. These two are brand new. This one is like this one where it's like thinner. Um, I'm just gonna hang on to them all for now. That's done. We didn't do anything with it. We didn't even organize it. Okay, now I'm going to get into my shirts. This is a great basic top that I don't think I want to get rid of. This one's pretty new still. Okay, this shirt is a maternity top. I absolutely freaking love this when I wore this by the beach. Um, I took pictures in it when I was Pregnant with my first, so I was 17 years old. If I can find a picture, I'm gonna pop them up right here. This shirt looked so, so pretty. So the reason I've hung on to it for so long is because if I get pregnant again, I wanna try and fit in this. Uh, with my last two pregnancies, I couldn't even fit in it just because I was a lot smaller starting out when I was 17 versus now I'm 23. Um, so I will hang on to it. I don't think it needs to be hung up though. Okay, this shirt I've had for a long time. It's very cute. I've 
worn it a couple times and never reached for it in my closet again. So I think it's time to part with this one. Um, this hanger is broke, nice. So my get rid of pile is gonna be over there on my bed. This shirt, honestly, it isn't even the cutest. I just always seem to go for it. It literally has stains on it. But my problem is, who the heck touched this? This needs to be washed. Like my kid's Cheeto-y fingerprints are literally all over it. Can you even tell? Look at it. That is literally Cheeto handprints. Um, so it needs to be washed, but I am going to be keeping it just for the time being while I'm still trying to lose weight This is like one of my go-to shirts just because it makes me feel a little bit better in it Which I mean, I don't really like how it looks on me I just wear it because it's one of the only shirts that makes me feel okay enough to wear out So I will hang on to this but once I'm done losing the weight we getting rid of this baby, okay? This shirt is ribbed and really cute underneath things. So I'm gonna keep this another cute shirt Okay, this shirt, I don't even know why I got this. I've worn it once, I didn't like how it looked. I got it like on a really good deal off of Romwe, um, but it's just not even my style, so we're just gonna get rid of her. Okay, this is like an over jacket with pockets. Uh, it's cute, I mean, I guess for the rest of winter, I'll see how much I wear it, but it's not my go-to. This shirt I've had for quite a while now, but I think it's still pretty cute. It's kind of cropped though, so I haven't been going toward it, but I think I'm gonna hang on to it. Oh my gosh, this shirt needs to go. Again, I got this shirt because it covers everything and it makes me feel better, but it's just not my style whatsoever. It's time to get rid of her. I'm sorry shirt, but see you later. Okay, this shirt is actually pretty cute, but it's not really my style again like I don't I never wear this So I think we're gonna get rid of it Hopefully I don't regret that later. Okay, this shirt I've had for a long time. I like the way it looks. I love the back It doesn't fit me yet, but I'm gonna hang on to it for a little while longer This is just like an honest closet clean out like I am such a hoarder when it comes to clothes or like literally anything that has memories Which is pretty much every piece of clothing I own because I wore it to something so I just have a really hard time getting rid of stuff Sorry Okay, this shirt Obviously not like the prettiest thing, but it has the little ruffles I think it'd be good for like a business type meeting or something So the only reason I'm going to keep hanging on to it is just for that occasion Just because I feel like it is a more put together shirt, but um, will I wear it? Honestly, probably not Okay again with this one it covers that's why I got it. Do I actually ever wear it? No. This shirt, I still think is cute. I don't care what nobody says. I like this, but it is a crop top, so it needs to go up here. Again, this shirt, it's honestly not really like the prettiest. It reminds me of kind of an older lady shirt. But I wore this when I got pictures done for my son's newborn photo shoot, um, my second son's, and it kind of, it's just like a flowy shirt, so it hides everything, especially after you're done giving birth, um, and it has like the blue to it, and he's obviously a boy, so I just thought it would like work out good with the photo shoot. Um, will I ever wear it? Probably not. I feel like I'll just put it away in storage as like a memory keepsake. Is anyone else this way? Like you can't get rid of something because it has like sentimental value value like even shirts like I literally have the pictures I don't need to hang on to the shirt but am I gonna hang on to the shirt yeah this shirt me and my mom actually have matching of I've never even worn it though because I don't fit into it it's a size small I'm not a size small but maybe one day I will be this is another shirt that I got like for maternity it actually even though the print isn't like the prettiest it actually does look really pretty on because it flows out over the belly and then has like a really nice cut to it so I think I will keep this I'm gonna put it like with all the other maternity clothing though this is cute this is my girl Alyssa Rose um, I've been following her since 
before her 20,000 subscriber special because I remember when she hit 20,000 subscribers and her friend like came over and uh, surprised her with balloons so Alyssa Rose if you ever see this what's up girl I've been following you subscribed to you for quite a while now and I did not find you from your Canon G7X video like a lot of the OG people did I actually found you I can't remember exactly what video it was, but I know it was like a clothing haul because in that video you mentioned how you gained like a lot of subscribers in um, a short amount of time because of your Canon G7X video. So then I went and watched it. Um, you're probably not watching this, are you? But if you are, hi, I've been subscribed for a while. I actually, I think I was subscribed before 10K, but I don't want to like quote myself on it because I'm not 100% sure where I was or maybe I was like a 10,000th something subscriber but i'm pretty og like i remember you from a long time ago um and i remember when i saw you i was like oh dang her hair was short and then it got super long and then yeah okay so i've been there for a while support Alyssa rose i love her videos if you don't know who she is check her out she's a vlogger if you like just like chill laid back videos about vlogging um she also has a podcast which is pretty cool anyway so do i go check out my podcast <laughs> Wait, why did I not get rid of this one? We don't we don't wear this one ever. Okay, bottom rack is done and it's somewhat organized by color. So I think we did pretty okay. Up here, I already went through these. I'm gonna need a chair. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I haven't worn it in a long time and it's starting to get holes in it. I did like it at the time, but it's just, it's wearing out. Freaking love this jean jacket. Look how cute it is. Look at the back. Super cute. We're bringing down the dresses. <sighs> Okay, this is a maternity dress that I wore around Christmas time. I think it would be cute for another, like, maternity outfit. But I just feel like all the maternity clothes I have are just not that cute. I mean, what do you guys think? I think I'm going to hang on to it, but uh, I don't know. This is cute. I love this. This is adorable. Another cute, just like basic dress, which I've barely even worn, but um, I think it's cute. This is something, again, I got maternity, and I think I wore it as like a cover-up. <sighs> I have a hard time parting with it because my mom got it for me when I was pregnant with, again, my first, and I was so young. I know my mom, if she's watching this, she'd be like, Morgan, get rid of it. It's okay. I'm not going to be upset. But like me, I'm like, but you got it for me, you know? So guess who's keeping it? This is actually my mom's dress. So I won't get rid of that in case she wants it back. This is a cute, this is actually Fashion Nova. It has like the ruching on the side of it, um, just like a bodycon dress. So that's actually really cute. I'll hang on to that. This is the dress that I wore for um, maternity pictures with my second son again. Honestly, I feel like I did most like my maternity stuff with my second because with my first I was kind of young and like just didn't even realize that like maternity pictures were even like a thing because I was so young um, and I just never did it. This, is this a romper? This is cute. It doesn't really fit me. <sighs> is this really my style? Like it's adorable. It looks super cute but I feel like it's more for a younger kid than a 23 year old. Like I could see like a 16 year old wearing this to like a fair but not really me. But could I dress it up with like cute heels? Yeah, I could. Mm. I'm gonna hang on to it. This is another cute, just little strappy dress. Hang on to that. And then I freaking love this dress. This dress was so flattering when I wore it to a quinceanera, actually. Um, and I was pregnant in it with my third son and it was very, very flattering. I love this dress. I am not getting rid of it. Okay, so again, I pretty much kept everything. This is, this video is going great. So the last thing that I need to go through is my pants and shorts and jeans and all of that fun stuff. So I guess let's just get into that. And then I don't think I'm gonna go through my clothing rack on the other side because I'm looking at it all and it's all pretty much stuff that I wanna keep except for, except for this. This just doesn't fit me. But again, maybe I'll keep it because I might fit into it. So we'll just wait. I wanna do like a huge like trendy clothing haul because I think I have a lot of cute trendy pieces over there. Can I just show you guys one of them? Like. For all you people who are watching this in advance, you guys are going to get a sneak peek of a couple of my trendy pieces, okay? 
Let me just show you two of them, actually. These are my newest pieces that I've added in and I'm super excited about them. So this one's like super cute, trendy, flowy for summer and spring. I think it's so adorable. And then this is my other one. Kind of has like a whole different vibe, but it's like classy, kind of like a, uh, what's it called? What's that trend called? Um, mm, it reminds me of like Gabby DiMartino. Um, if you watch Nikki and Gabby. Which is crazy because like, let me show you one more piece. Okay, just kidding, two more pieces. Like this one that's completely sheer and you wear like a little bralette underneath. Or this was just like an over thing that I think is really cute and trendy. Where I feel like, especially this green top is definitely like Nikki vibes. And this shirt is definitely like Gabby vibes. So I feel like I can kind of relate to like both of their styles in like different aspects. So um, yeah, I'm super excited for this clothing haul. There's a ton of more stuff over there and I'm still like collecting it because I just want to do like a whole huge like haul. So if you guys are seeing this, you guys get a little sneak peek. I'll just wait to clean out that until I do the video and then I'll decide like what I like, what I don't like, what I want to share with you guys um, because I want to do like a whole trendy haul. So again, this section is mine. Let's just start going through. I feel like most of the pants I'm going to want to keep because I just, I don't have like a ton of clothes in general anyway. Like I don't feel like I have an excessive amount. I mean, I do have a decent amount, but it's not like overwhelming, you know? So sweatpants keep. Definitely all my shorts, I wear these to bed. Keep, even though some of them aren't the prettiest, I still wear them to bed. Just got this as a set with this sweatshirt. So keep. These are my Fabletics leggings, obviously keep. Fabletics, please sponsor me because I freaking love your leggings, like genuinely like them a lot. Um, so please like sponsor me. These are like low rise jeans. But they're like the only black ones that I have. Oh no, just kidding, just kidding. These are the high rise ones, okay. Just kidding, we're keeping these. I forgot that I bought those. Huh. Where's my other pair of jeans then? Whatever, another pair of sweatpants, keep. Oh, this is a sweatshirt. Honestly, I should just get rid of this, it's so stained. Like, I don't ever wear it out because it has so many stains on it. Biker shorts, obviously for summer, keep. These leggings, oh gosh. These are like dressy type pant leggings. I've had them for a while now and they just ain't it. They just ain't working for me. More biker shorts, yes. These are like my longest pair of them, so keep these. Okay, the reason I'm keeping this skirt is because I feel like for a maternity outfit, it would look cute with a bump, like. And then like put your crop top right there, even though the skirt's gonna go up super high. I saw a really cute outfit inspo for those, so I'm gonna hang on to that. And then these make your booty pop. These are from Romley. If you haven't saw my video, I pranked my fiance with butt implants and I wore those because that already makes your butt pop. So with the implants, it's like, well, bam. So um, I pranked him, so go watch that video. Oh, these pants I've been hanging on to, cargo type pants. Mm, yeah, I guess I'll keep them. I haven't taken an Instagram picture. These are the black jeans I was talking about. These are low rise. And I just, yeah, these ain't it. Mm -mm. I've tried to wear these shorts several times and they're just so unflattering. I like them and I wanna keep them, but it's time to get rid of them. Again with these, these are almost like cargo-y type pants. I don't know if I even like this. It still has a tag on it because I never wore them. If I wore these pants with these shoes, I feel like that would be super cute. So we're gonna hang on to it just just so I can get a few pictures and then I'll probably get rid of it, honestly. Then we have my Nike leggings. I'll hang on to these because your girl is working out and these will be good workout pants. Shorts for summer, I love these, these are cute. More leggings, hang on to those. Bandexy type shorts, I guess we can hang on to those. Yeah, these I wear to bed. I haven't in a while because they've been all the way at the bottom. These pants, oh my gosh, I remember trying these on and I thought they were so cute, but they just didn't fit me. So maybe they'll be fitting me soon. Ugh, I've been hanging on to these. They always fall down, like they just don't fit right and we just gotta be done with them. I can't. Uh, oh, well, these are like leggings, but they're just like the soft ones and they just like bunch up weird. But I'll keep them just for like warmth underneath like a pair of ripped jeans. Then it's like a light layer. Then I think that would look cute in the winter. <sighs> these, they're all right. I don't know. These are both my Fabletics uh, leggings. These are actually my biker shorts. These are my leggings. So obviously got to be keeping those. I actually do really, really like Fabletics. So 
would be very nice to get a sponsorship from them. I've been wondering where all my Fabletics leggings went to because I literally have like four pairs and I've only been able to find like one or two. So they were literally just at the bottom of this pile. And then I have my Adidas leggings, which I honestly don't ever even wear because they're see-through. They look dirty or stained. I'm gonna wash them, see if the stain comes out, and then we'll figure it out. Here's one of my sweaters that I just threw in there. I wore this to something and it, it, it looked okay. It was, it was kind of cute for winter. We'll hang on to this. These jeans, I mean, they're okay. They're not very comfortable. I think it's time to just get rid of them. Haven't worn them in a long time, so clearly didn't need them for that amount of time. So, all right, let's put all this stuff back. Okay, we really need a dresser, so if you guys are wondering why our pants like that, it's because we don't have a dresser yet. Just ignore it. At least our closet has these built in, so we're making it work, but it just looks messy all the time because we don't have like an actual drawer for it. I went a long time without even taking a sip of this. It's not very good. All right guys, I think that's it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really didn't get rid of a lot of stuff, but um, I've been needing to do this, so you guys are my motivation. And I kind of like watching closet clean out videos just to kind of like look at some inspiration of like what people have and like what they're getting rid of because why they don't like things, why they're out of trend or whatever. Um, because I do feel like I like to stay up with the trends with fashion. I've really grown a love and passion for fashion. As cliche or cheesy as that sounds, I really have. I feel like fashion is like my main thing that I like to do on my channel. So it's just kind of, kind of fun for me. I kind of like watching these closet clean out videos. So look for many fashion related videos on my channel in the future. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps my channel out. And I appreciate you guys so, so much if you made it all the way to the end of this video or if you've subscribed or if you just watched even a little bit of this video. I appreciate you all so, so much. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.